Right, a big breaking update which is coming in right now and the government has in fact sacked the National Testing Agency chief. That's the latest that we are getting. NTA DG Director General Subodh Kumar has in fact been sacked. And uh, this comes in after the multiple instances of competitive exam mess that we have seen, whether it is in terms of the, the kind of irregularities we have seen as far as NEET exams are concerned or even the UGC net exams recently, among others. Let me go across to my colleague, Maria Shakil, who's brought us the breaking update. Maria, go ahead. Yes, so Tonima, the government has cracked the whip. They understand certainly that the students have been upset be it the NEET exam, which is under the scanner. Uh, there has been irregularities in the NET exam. There were reports of paper leaks in multiple exams in the last few years. And now, uh, only yesterday, there was another crucial exam, which was postponed. Uh, so there is an understanding within the government that uh, perhaps Mr. Subodh, uh, Subodh is incapable of handling exams at this scale. And hence, the NTA boss has been sacked. Uh, this is the government cracking the whip and acting right away because they realize that this was becoming too big uh, for them to handle. We have seen how there was a high-level committee which was set up. The details of that committee came out only today, uh, which uh, came out in the form of a press release where the government said that the former ISRO chief, Mr. Radhakrishnan, would be the would be the uh, uh, you know would be the head of that committee. Uh, the reports had also come uh, that uh, there would be this seven-member committee which would be looking into uh, the questions particularly to do with uh, various, uh, you know, uh, challenges in which uh, NTA has been failing Indian students. And now they have gone all ahead uh, and gone with this. Uh, Nikunj is also joining us on the phone line. Tonima, you can go to him uh, because, you know, this is going to be seen as a big move by the government and also a big move in which it will be seen as the government realizing the sentiments of the students. The student community has been worried. Uh, lakhs of students, not just 24 lakhs of, uh, 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 of NEET, but also 10 lakhs of uh, UGC NET, uh, which is the na national eligi eligibility test. All of them have been looking into, uh, you know, looking towards the government for some concrete action. And no action had come in till now. Uh, besides setting up the, of that high-level committee, the government realized that there are structural challenges that Mr. Subodh, Khan, Mr. Subodh Singh is incapable of handling his responsibilities and hence a new appointment and Subodh Singh has been sacked. Right, Maria, if you can just take our viewers through the sequence of events, is this in expected lines as you were saying? Like initially we in fact saw the Union Education Minister in a way saying that there's not been an instance of paper leak as far as NEET is concerned. But then we saw the number of irregularities in competitive exams in fact piling up against the center in a way. The number of exams that they had to postpone, reschedule, cancel, that was, uh, is, is that what actually led to this announcement today? Because initially, we saw a bit of defensive side. Yes, uh, certainly. If you remember the press conference which was done by a uh, union education minister, and that came soon after the BR police filed FIRs, uh, in which uh, uh, they came up with those evidences of students having received, uh, you know, question papers a day in advance, and then they went inside and, say, and said that they found the same question paper which appeared. So it was clear that the question paper had been leaked. Reports, uh, you know, the economic offense wing, wing had come up with those clear evidences. There were reports of question paper leaks of need also in, uh, you know, in, 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 uh, in Godra as well. The government was facing a lot of questions from the Supreme Court. Uh, the, the Supreme Court was also, you know, hoping that the government will be taking some concrete actions. Uh, Although the NEET exam has not been cancelled, but the government went ahead and cancelled NET when they realized that the, there were reports of question paper leak, which had come uh, from uh, the Home Ministry. Now, only yesterday, another CUET cancelled. The government realized that it was too hot to handle. And there was this one body, which is the NTA, which has been responsible for this complete mismanagement of exams. They conduct 15 exams all over the country, uh, Tonima. And it, because of this, it, this was actually becoming a mess in which the government was finding itself uh, in. And hence, they went ahead and have taken a concrete action, which is about sacking of the NTA boss and, 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 uh, they, uh, they, and a system which is being now put in place to ensure that the structural challenges, the, the institutional failure can be corrected. 
Right, Maria, uh, as you were mentioning that there's also a panel that the center has set up, a seven-member panel headed by the former ISRO chief, which is going to look into the functioning of the National <laughs> Testing Agency. Are we now staring at an overhaul, a complete overhaul of, of the agency itself? Yes, that's right. Uh, uh, if you remember, the Mr. Pradhan had said uh, that they would be looking for a complete overhaul, that they are looking at uh, structural changes, that they are looking at the data security protocol where have, there have been uh, multiple breaches and that uh, you know, any attempt at cover-up was only exposing the NTA and its failures. So the government decided that the only way forward, the only way out of this crisis would be to sack the NTA chief and hence they have gone ahead. In place now will be a committee which is now looking into what are the changes that are needed. So structural changes, other, you know, appointments, is this the right body which was set up in 2017, only after the 2016 Supreme Court order? Is this the right body in the right form to, to take these decisions? Are these officers, IS officers, really prepared to handle exams at this scale? Or should there be educationists? What should be the composition of this panel? All that will be a subject of discussion now that Dr. Gilaria, who is the former mm -hmm. AIMS director, is pro right. chief, all of them are part of this panel. Right. I'm also joined by senior managing editor of NDTV, Nikunj Garg, over the phone line. Nikunj, uh, this is a very significant development. It clearly shows that the center has been left without any sort of defense, any sort of defensive words left in order to back the National Testing Agency chief anymore. Well, I agree, Tonema. Uh, that would be the common sense interpretation of the situation. However, however, you must keep in mind that after having appointed an NTA chief, it is morally, ethically, and uh, administratively incumbent on the government to give the incumbent as much time as possible to look into any kind of administrative lapses if there were to be in case of conduct of examinations. Look, uh, the National Testing Agency is an experiment. The government of India, with all its intentions in the best place, was wanting to alter a system with which many had a quarrel, with which many had a complaint. Now, that system appears to be, appears to be, has gone horribly wrong. Whether the NTA brass, headed by the chair chief, uh, 97 batch, admin and administrative service officer, Mr. Kabod Kumar, of the Satyagar Garda, many would say a relatively junior officer, has been unable to contain the kind of pressures that the National Testing Administration would face uh, or this is something that is beyond the control of a single administrative mechanism, is something that we need to see. Let's not jump to any kind of conclusion. Obviously, the government is under intense pressure. Obviously, the pressure not only comes from the opposition politicians or opposition political parties, but it comes from the hundreds of thousands of students who have been preparing relentlessly to get a decent birth under various examination criteria. This is not just about one medical exam or engineering exam or anything, but these are about any sort of a decent top-run examinations that the government of India wants to con con conduct under a provision. Now, whether that omnibus provision itself has failed, whether the agency has failed to put in due mechanism or whether those mechanisms cannot be put under one single administrative umbrella is something as Maria, my senior colleague who wrote this story uh, for NDTV a few minutes back was saying that the government wishes to inspect. Now that inspection or invigilation will be headed by a senior committee. In the interim, the government has not appointed a new board for the National Testing Administration or the agency. Uh, additional charge arrangement under a very senior I, in an administrative service officer has been made and Maria also made very critical one very critical point. The point to ponder for the politicians, particularly the political bosses like the Education Minister, Mr. Dhanand Dukhan, uh, is also the fact that can the Indian administrative service officials or are the Indian administrative service officials appropriately equipped to handle a kind of administrative regime, administrative regime for an omnibus examination agency or panel that the government of India wishes to put in place. Now that all all that becomes a matter of invigilation, matter of examination. And I would hope and pray 
uh, along with hundreds of thousands of examinees and along with the entire nation that you know an answer is found which is at the end of the day a fail proof fool proof mechanism and maria probably would be in a better position to say as to what is the administrative thought in the minds of the administrators of the education ministry in terms of replacing this mechanism is there a overhaul is there completely new setup that they wish to see so maybe you can probably pose that question back to my senior colleague maria Right, uh, Nikunj, thank you so much for joining us with that. I'm also joined uh, by my colleague Sunil Prabhu on this. Uh, Sunil, as we have in fact been discussing that uh, this is in a way probably the beginning. We have seen the announcement about the panel which is being set up by the centre. Now this announcement coming in of sacking of the NTA chief uh, clearly shows an overhaul in the cards as far as the testing agency handling competitive exams in the country is concerned. The timing of this announcement, how crucial do, do you think that is coming just ahead of the parliament session which is going to begin next week? Well, I think uh, apart from the uh, parliament session, I think the most important uh, thing in the minds is that the prime minister himself at the cabinet meeting had given a clear direction uh, to the education minister, the HRD minister uh, to get going and to ensure uh, that what was happening on the uh, streets as well as in examination centers should be stopped immediately. And he uh, taking that immediate uh, uh, message, uh, taking responsibility uh, has uh, really cracked down. Today you have seen the first step uh, being taken. The NPA official has been removed and uh, immediately put on compulsory weight, and he's still with the DOPT. Uh, but uh, a senior IS officer who uh, is the chairman and managing director of ITPO has been given uh, the uh, temporary and additional charge of uh, handling uh, the uh, as a DG NTA uh, to ensure that all these competitive exams, uh, where there has been a lot of uh, really question marks at this present stage, uh, they are look, going to get into uh, that entire aspect. And so he's been given... Uh, complete control of uh, looking and managing uh, this entire issue. Right, uh, Sunil, stay with us. Uh, we'll also try and get uh, we'll also try and get reactions of the petitioners uh, who are, in fact, who have moved the uh, top court, who have moved the courts in order to get some sort of a relief as far as the exam, the competitive exam mess that we have been reporting for days is concerned. Um, in fact, uh, going back to Sunil now. Uh, Sunil, what can we expect? You know, this is, as we have been mentioning, the first step in a way uh, of sorts. What if the students who are tuning in to watch us uh, tonight, what can the students expect will be the way forward for the HRD ministry now? Well, I think uh, the most important thing is that they want to get uh, into the whole modus operandi of how this question paper leaks have been taking place. Why is the credibility of various exams uh, being really... Uh, you know, there's been a big question mark. Why are there certain centers? Why are certain people uh, raising questions? Why is it, uh, you know, that uh, only in certain regions uh, that there is a, a lot of discrepancy? And, and it's in that context uh, that uh, uh, while an investigation is being done by law enforcement agencies, uh, they would like to get to the bottom of it uh, to ensure uh, that, uh, you know, whoever it is, whether it was a private testing agency, who were responsible for setting the papers, how were the papers being leaked? Uh, yes, there is a lot of money that is involved. Uh, we have seen people and students paying 30, 40 lakhs as alleged. Uh, so it is definitely something which is a cause of concern. Uh, if you, you know, break the backbone of the, uh, uh, you know, education system, as said by the Supreme Court itself, even if there's a 0.01%, I think these are all being done not so much for the parliament session, which, of course, uh, the opposition parties were going to raise but the Supreme Court is going to hear this matter on the 8th of July. And as we've been reporting uh, for the eighth consecutive day, uh, these there have been several petitions in the Supreme Court, all being deferred, uh, no relief being given, uh, but saying that we will hear this entire case on the 8th of July. The NPA itself agreeing that there was a mistake. And that is why in 1563, uh, right. uh, students will be doing the exam on Sunday. Uh, there is a huge demand mm -hmm. in the NEET exam right. for a re-examination. Uh, that involves 24 lakh students. We've already seen certain exams being postponed, uh, in, for example, the net exam. Uh, and it's in this context that uh, the uh, government uh, has said enough of embarrassment. Right. Uh, that somebody needs to take the flag. Uh, the DG, present DG NTA uh, has been kept on compulsory weight. He will report to the DOPT right. and, uh, uh, and uh, a new uh, senior IS officer who is the rank of a cabinet secretary. Uh, right. Mind you, 
has been made the DGC. Right. Uh, Sunil, stay with us. Uh